guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you a very simple routine you can use to have flawless foundation and amazing contour. So if you are interested to see how to have flawless foundation, please keep on watching. So for flawless foundation you need to make sure to start with clean canvas. What I mean about that? wash your face before the makeup application guys so here are some of my favorite products also heavenly this is a cleansing um, foam and it's very very nice for sensitive skin and on my K is also very very nice cleansing gel and it's very nice and the next step here to prep your skin for makeup this is really very important step guys please don't skip this part because this what is going to change the whole fact of your makeup especially your foundation so for today's makeup I'm going to hydrate my skin using the All My K Hydrate Day Cream it's a very very nice cream and I like to use before I'm going out in the evening or most of the time because it doesn't contain SPF especially if I know I'm going to take some photos and I don't want some flashbacks so this helps a lot so I'm going to take a good amount of moisturizer on my face and blend it very well So after applying your skincare product, make sure to give it some time to be absorbed nicely to your skin so when you apply your foundation it doesn't slide off your skin. This is also one of the most important steps that you have to consider on your foundation routine guys. So now it's time for applying my primer. So for today's primer I'm going to be using the Professional from Benefit to fill my pores around my cheeks, chin and the forehead as well. And I must say in the market nowadays you will find lots of different kind of primers for um, pore filling, for oil control, to mattify the skin. Um, pigmentation, redness, it's all about finding the right primer that would serve your skin needs. So for today, I'm going to just use this pore filler primer around the areas where I feel like I have big pores. So I took this amount here, it's not a big amount, but it's going to work very well around my face. So I, as I said, I apply here. And then I make sure that they are in the right place so I don't rub them around, I just brisk them around my skin. And I like to apply here around my smile line where the foundation sometimes would sit here in this area. Okay, and whatever is left over from my primer, I like to apply it underneath my eyes which is going to allow my concealer to stay on as well nicely the whole day without moving around. So this is another tip guys. And after applying my primer, I'm going to take my Urban Decay setting spray and spread it around my entire face. And I promise you by just adding this to your foundation routine it will ensure your foundation to be on the whole day nicely without moving around especially in summertime so today I'm using the Dior skin in 030 and this is one of my favorite foundation that I love to use during the summer or winter it's a medium coverage and it's honestly working fantastic on my skin and then I'm going to be using this big Kabuki foundation brush, it's from Zueva and I've been having this brush for five years now and it works fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to take, let's start with two pumps on the back of my hands. Okay, I'm going to 
going to take my brush, tap it around the foundation, work it out on the back of my hand. All of that going to help the foundation to look absolutely stunning. You're going to use some kind of stippling motion. It's so important to not drag your foundation around. And the best thing about this foundation, it just dries off completely so fast, as you see the difference. And the rest of the products, I dig it to my forehead. You don't need to use so much foundation on your forehead because this is the most area which get creasy and cakey very quickly so you want to use very little product when it comes to this area um, I personally don't like to use lots of foundation around my face I like to give the rule of hiding any pigmentation acne breakouts to my concealer to do that so now I am done with the foundation application and as you see it looks absolutely flawless and seamless and I love how it looks on my skin. Uh, now I'm going to get into the contouring. What I'm going to use today is this palette from Note Cosmetics. I love the shades of browns here. So I'm going to use a mix of these two together on my skin but mostly the one here in the middle and I'm going to take a flat brush like this and start to contour my face so for contour it's also up to you it depends on your face shape and what would you like to hide and what would you like to uh, see more so for me I like to have higher cheekbones so I don't put the um, contour on the hollow of my cheekbones I put it exactly where is my bone to lift up my face I like to have a very defined jawline I like to have the effect of having the bigger lips I like to fix my nose because it's skew and it's boop boop big <laughs> so what I'm going to do is add a few dots here give this a little bit or make the face go look smaller and as I said I like to have high cheekbones so I'm not going to do the contour here I'm going to do up here and then I like to give the focus on my this part of my face from here not from there so I like to contour this as well Okay, and as I said, I like to define my jawline, so I don't add the contour on the bottom, I add the contour exactly here. And I take it all the way to the chin to get a little bit of a V look, and then I add a little bit here for the double chin in case. Okay, as I said for my nose, it's kind of skewed, so... So I'm going to add a line here and then half a line here to lift up my nose and then on the side. And then I'm going to add here underneath my lips and around my lips. On the top. And in the middle for the cute bow. So again, I'm going to use my foundation big kabuki flat brush to blend my foundation, I mean to blend my contour. And again, I'm going to use a stippling motion here to blend the product. And when you blend, you don't want to drag the product down, you blend it upward. And then here I like to just do that, to not get too much. Um, Get the chin. Mm -hmm. 
so this is my face after blending the contour and here is the other side so I'm going off camera to blend it and come back and now it's time for my concealer after blending my contour products to just define my face to give more definition to the face and today I'm going to use two different products to conceal and highlight in the same time so I'm going to use Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in number 20 and this one um, Benefit Cakeless Concealer in number 4 so first I'm going to apply the shade that is kind of closer to my foundation shade underneath my eyes so to just highlight underneath the eyes so I'm, I'm not going to use lots of product to though so it's going to be slightly two dots two dots and then I'm going to take this uh, concealer blending brush and I'm just going to spread the product underneath my eyes nicely brush and connect everything together so there is no harsh line between the contour and the foundation and the concealer so I'm going again to take the foundation brush and stable everything So everything now looks absolutely flawless and blended very well and I set under one eye with powder using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set underneath the other eye as you see it just looks much better flat the light is just right underneath this eye so the first thing now um, after applying the concealer you need to take your damp sponge again and make sure there is no creasing underneath the eye and then take your translucent powder no baking the nothing I'm just going to apply some powder so the concealer doesn't move during the day and then I'm going to apply the product underneath the eyes and then I'm going to take a brush a fluffy brush like this to just wipe off the powder from underneath my eyes so I'm actually not baking or anything but I'm just sitting underneath the eyes so now I'm going to take my benefit holo bronzer to just bronze my face and add even more definition to the face and again I'm going to use my fluffy brush a good amount of the product, take the excess off and then again I'm going to stick it 
sa tubig dito. Gives you a bit of control. And then, I'm taking the rest of the product across my forehead. to take my translucent powder to apply it around my t-zone area uh, this one from max factor and I'm going to take my buff I know it's an old school kind of technique but it is the most professional technique guys and it just makes your skin looks absolutely beautiful and flawless I don't like to apply my powder using uh, powder fluffy brushes I prefer using my buff sponges I like to just dab the sponge on my powder like so and then rub it around make sure it's all around my sponge like this and then I take it and I apply it where I feel like I might get oily during the day make sure where the foundation sits to apply also enough powder in this area and here and then I'm going to take my powder brush and take any excess of okay now it's time to add some glam to this entire look um, I'm going to use these two shades together on the top of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose. And the last step here is going to be spreading some setting spray again all over my face from Urban Decay to ensure that my foundation will look flawless the entire day and will not go anywhere. So this is the end of our video guys, I really hope you ended up learning something new about makeup and you found this video is helpful and if you have any other concern or question please don't forget to just write all of your question down below or you can email me or just contact me through my Instagram where you will find me the most. And um, let me know if you have any other makeup issues you would like me to talk about. I really would love to do that for you guys. So next video is going to be all about how I clean my makeup kit and keep my brushes hygienic. And uh, see you!